Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get right into it because I have a tendency to ramble on. I have three different um, brands that I have gotten over the last couple of months technically, primarily during the um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday whole thing. Um, but I'm going to start out with Profusion, which I got at Target when I first got back from my trip, my three-week trip. So, um, we're just going to start with that. I got three different palettes. I have them wrapped up here. Um, two of the five-pan palettes, and then one larger one. So, um, so these are the, these are the products here. So, to start out, um, these two were for about six dollars each I think so I got obviously the contour palette here and um, the highlight here um, both six bucks at Target again um, so it comes with um, three contouring shades and then two highlighting shades um, and a brush so pretty good deal for what it is so there's that I know my lighting and coloring is not the best but obviously there's the two highlighting and then the three contouring shades um this one i've used primarily for contouring this one for bronzing it's a little warmer um but yeah that's that and then it obviously comes with a mirror that's why i'm angling it kind of weird and also both of them come with a small brush which i actually quite like um for a little uh, you know if you, if you need it in a pinch, it's there. Hold on a second. Mm. If you need it in a pinch, um, it's here for you. The only thing, the only bothersome thing about it is it's just, it falls out, right? I can't just like... Anyway, obviously. So, it's soft. I like it. So there's that. The contouring kit there. And then the highlighting one comes with, what, five shades? Five shades. Um, also a mirror, a brush that looks exactly like this, I've taken it out, um, but there's that, there, highlighting mirrors up there at the top, and then here are the highlighting shades, um, so if you can see that, this one's kind of a champagne-y color, this one's a bit more yellow, this one's got a bit of a purple in it. This one's got a bit of coral, and this one's kind of rose goldy, um, and I quite like them. I've used them already, um, so again, this is six bucks. Um, I actually quite like it. If you want to try different things, I don't know. I'd imagine it's still available because it looked like it was on a holiday kind of display, but it could be wrong. Hopefully, it's still available. This was over a month ago, so. Um, then the last thing that I got from Profusion, which I guess is new to Target, is the um, Eye and Cheek palette. So it's got, um, what, it's got 12 eyeshadows, two highlighting shades, and then four blushes, and then a brush here. And the brush um, comes dual-ended, obviously, a flat shader, and then a fluffier blending one, which actually feels quite nice and synthetic. Um, but there's that. I'm trying to, like, see. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what that looks like. I haven't, I've, I've probably swatched a couple, like, the blushes and stuff, but I've tried not to, um, mess around with it much, so. Again, two highlighting shades, the four blush, and then shadows, obviously, so very neutral things, a little bit warmer on this side, a little bit cooler on this side as far as the um, shadows and blushes and stuff go, so pretty cool. Um, and this was for $10, I think, or $9.99, something like that. Quite affordable, I think, in my opinion, for what you're getting. Um, again, I haven't tried it though, so that's Profusion. Um, let me go ahead and grab the ColourPop things, because that was the next thing that I got. So, um, this is the very first ColourPop order that I'd ever made. Um, it came in this, like, really, really, um, secure padded envelope. And I got just eyeshadows here. Um, let's see, there's a little card that they give you. Bubble wrap and everything. 
And I primarily got it for an eyeshadow palette, but I wanted to try their singles as well. Um, so I got four singles. The pressed shadows. And then two super shock shadows. Which is what they were um, initially popular for. And then an eyeshadow palette. So let's start out with um, the four singles. Um, pressed singles. Um, I was very inspired by their, like, there was a rosy, I can't remember which palette it was, but I was inspired by that, but I had a lot of colors that were already in it, so just the shades that look similar, um, so like purple and red, um, cranberry colors. This one is in Get Out. It's kind of hard to see what kind of color that is, but this is Get Out. It's kind of a reddish. Um, this one is going steady. This one's a little bit more cranberry. It's also kind of a red. Um, yeah, a bit more purple in this one. Um, and then this one's a purple in silver lining, a muted, um, medium purple. And then this last one is a, um, yellowy orange muted color in koi. Um, so I actually really like the ColourPop packaging. They put quite a bit of, at least like the cartons and stuff, um, quite a bit of thought into it. Like those sort of details are, it's actually quite nice, you know, opening it up, but those were the four. And um, the sale that ColourPop was having was like 20% off, so that's why I decided might as well. It's already inexpensive as it is, and then like free shipping over $25 or something like that. So I figured why not. Um, and then I got two Super Shock um, shadows, and they're both shimmering. I swatched both of them. They're quite glittery, so I don't know how I'm going to like that. I know in any palette, I'm not a fan of the ones that have the glitter chunks that, like, the glitter specks that kind of just go everywhere. Not a fan of that, but we'll see. I haven't tried it on my eyes yet, but this one is in Birthday Girl. Again, there's that. Birthday Girl is this one. Um, yeah kind of a taupey, um, slightly rosy taupey color, that one. See, like, look at the packaging. Stars and then, like, little confetti bits on the inside. It's cute. But I'm not going to be keeping the cartons, right? So, there's that. Um, and then this one is in, what color is this? This one's in DGAF, um, yeah the shade. This one's a little deeper. Um, kind of a, I don't know, slightly bronzy, coppery shade. Bronzy shade, probably. So, there's that. And then the last thing from ColourPop, the thing that I mainly wanted to get, I wanted to get a palette with my primary, my primary goal in my purchase. Um, I got the element of surprise, which is funny because the person who like kind of like inspired me to go check out ColourPop um, palettes was Jacqueline Levine, and she didn't like this ones, but I I don't know. There's something about it that I quite liked. So again, the packaging's really nice. So there's that. The shadow names pop it out. I like the color scheme of the packaging, right? And then again. And the shades are on the back. So I don't know. I really like it. Um, it feels compact. Um, and then there are the shades there. So I don't know. I could argue that a lot of the shades that I got, like the singles and sh shades that I already have, are in this palette. <laughs> but um, we'll see. It just seems like fun. Um, so and I got it for 14 something because of the sale. So that's it for ColourPop. Um, and then the last thing that came. What was nice about ColourPop that it came within like a few days of me ordering. Um, I think they ship out of California and I'm in Oregon so um, it's relatively quick. Um, Coastal Scents on the other hand took quite a while I guess. I mean I guess getting a lot of orders it makes sense but it just took... Mm, I only got it like this past Sunday. So it was a like a week and a half, two weeks, which isn't bad, but I was just curious, is it ever going to ship? But it did, so it's okay. Um, and I'll be right back with showing those in a second. Let me 
get everything together. Okay, the last um, bit of my haul is from Coastal Scent, which sent, um, um, which was sent in this box. Um, I got mainly blushes, eyeshadows, and kind of tool things, and I'll go ahead and get those tools out of the way. Um, first thing being was the Pro Blending Fluff Brush, and I've kind of, you know, taken it out, felt it, and it's quite soft, so I'm excited to use that. We'll see. It's not, it's, um, a different shape from all the, um, brushes that I already have. Um, it's a little tapered at the end, so that's going to be quite nice, actually. So I won't take it out, but, oop, there's that. I also got, because I got blushes, I decided, and they're like the, um, just the pans, I decided to get, um, the six pan for blushes, um, and this was very marked down. I don't know what percent, but it was very inexpensive. Like, my entire order was like, mm, under 30, 30 bucks, or maybe about 30 bucks or something like that, but for this, um, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember. Because it ordered ColourPop and Coastal Sense at the same time, and they were around the same price. Okay, so the, for the blushes, um, let's go ahead and take these out. Um, so they, can't, they come in these little plastic things. This one happens to be in tart purple. This one's more of a bronze shade. This is glazed ginger. This is Invigorate. I'm excited for this one because it's not like any blush that I have already. Invigorate, kind of an orangey, um, reddish color. Um, this one I'm the least excited for. I guess it just looked different online, but that's okay. This one is an Eros Pink. It's a little too... It's got silver glitter in it, and I don't know. It just doesn't seem like one I would wear, but we shall see. Eros Pink. Two more blushes. Um, this one is in Romance, a bit more, um, subtle than the, f the ones I already showed. Um, there's this one, got a bit of shimmer in there, and this is Glazing Ember. This is completely matte and, um, very nude looking, so I might, I, I think I'll quite like this one, but we shall see. So those are the six blushes that I got. As soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to put everything into pans and stuff into the palettes and things. Palettes, I meant to say palettes. And then I got four eyeshadows, um, two of which are quite similar, but that's okay. Um, I got all matte shades um, and very pastel. This one's an aqua, so like a greenish, a greenish shade. It's not really coming off green. It's kind of washed out, but alas. So aqua. And I would take it out of the plastic packaging so you can see the colors a little bit better, but it's just, I don't know. Um, these are the two that look very similar, by the way. I've, I have an issue. The last time I ordered from Coastal Scents, I did the same thing. There were, like, a couple of shades that looked exactly like other shades. I'm just like, Allie, calm down. Oh, well. This one here is Violetville, and this one's Antique Lilac. Um... I don't know. This one seems to be a little bit more um, warm and a little bit more muted. This one, warm and muted. This one's a little bit um, kind of brighter, and cool tone, but it's very similar. I don't know if it's going to translate well on the eye. Like the difference, I doubt it. But it's okay. They were like less than a dollar, so that's all right. And then this last one is in Southern Belle. It's a pastel yellow with a bit of silver shimmer in there so that is the last of my haul um, I know I was kind of rushing through this but I've tried filming this already and I just talk for too long and then I end up getting interrupted so I figured I just got to get it out there so I can start using my stuff and I can post this already um, yeah I'm trying to think what else is there to say um, I don't think there's anything else. I have a lot of ideas, and I'm, by the way, I'm probably going to redo my Project Pan Roulette. 
Um, I've already got products that I picked out, right? And this is a video from like a few months ago, but I haven't really been like keeping track or doing anything with that. I have been using the products, just not, you know, keeping track of progress or anything or really doing anything specific for it. So I think I'm going to redo that um, at some point within the coming weeks. Um, I also have this idea um, to kind of go back into like old school YouTube and like just nostalgia and things like that. So that th that'll be fun. Um, I just need to find the time and space to do that. Um, and I have I other ideas. Um, and then other things that aren't aren't related to like makeup and things. I just just random stuff here on my page. Um, if you're interested in checking that out, by all means. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. I'm gonna clean up my room and kind of figure out what I'm gonna do. I want. I think I want to go for a walk. I just don't know where. Whether I should stay nearby or go out. I'm not sure. But. 101 p.m. My my stuff is falling here. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm really good at closing these. Um, I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye.